allow the things of this world to dictate our lives, to dictate what true happiness is. Only Jesus can bring about true happiness in our lives. Right. True fulfillment in our lives comes from Jesus Christ and him alone. Not money, not material things. Only Jesus Christ can fill the void in our lives. If we consider uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 20, it tells us, uh, verse 21, it tells us, uh, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So whatever you allow to consume yourself with, whatever you put your energy and your time, most of your time to, that's where your heart is going to be. So is this material thing, is this gaining more and more in this life? then that's where your heart is going to be. If you put all, most of your efforts and your strength into the things of God, into pursuing the Lord, that's where your heart is going to be. We must get to the place where our pursuit is in Jesus, where our focus yes. is on yes. Jesus Christ, because we know that the things of this world are only temporary. And if we would go back to verse 20 in that same chapter, Matthew chapter 6, verse 20, it says, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. We know that we live in a society where crime is running rampant. And where there are thieves and there are robbers. And, you know, we work hard each week to get nice things for our families and to live a good, decent life while we're here on earth. But we know that we have people in this world that will come and try to take those things away. Those things that we buy in the store, those things can be taken away at a moment's notice. Those things are temporary, but the Bible tells us to lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. It tells us to focus on those spiritual things. It tells us to put our time and our energy into things that are eternal. Right. So why are we in the house of God on tonight? We're laying up treasures. We're Focusing on the things of God because we know that this is going to take us right. from earth to glory. Yes. Yes. Living this life for Jesus. We don't just come to church just to come to church. No. But we know that we're living to one day live again. Right. right. We know that we are spiritual creatures. And we know that one day payday is coming. So I just want to encourage the people of God to continue to pursue after Jesus Christ. Continue to run the race because your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Right? Pursue the things of God. I am in pursuit of Jesus Christ on tonight because I know that I am getting my house in order because I have a building not made with hands right. that is eternal in the heavens. I know that payday is coming after a while, so I'm going to work while it's day. The Bible tells us to work while it's day, for when the night cometh, no man can work. So we must focus on those things of God. We must be in pursuit of Jesus Christ. I am in pursuit of Jesus Christ. I am in pursuit of the one that gave his life on the cross for me. The one that died for me. The one that took the nails prints in his hand. The one that took the, uh, uh, the beating for me. The one that was spat upon. The one that had blood and water coming out of his side. We know that they put a crown of thorns on his head. And that's who I'm in pursuit of on tonight. Amen. I'm Amen. in pursuit 
of Jesus Christ. I'm in pursuit of the one that has never left me. I'm in pursuit of the one that has never flipped the script on me. We know that we have friends and sometimes, you know, we can count on them and sometimes we can't count on, on them. It depends on uh, how things are going in our relationship. But we know that Jesus has never flipped the script on us, so to right. speak. Jesus has always been there. So I'm yes. in pursuit of him. Yes. Who are you in pursuit of on tonight? Are you in pursuit of Jesus Christ? Or are you in pursuit of those things that are temporary? I am in pursuit of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes. I am Lord. in pursuit of the bright and the morning star. Yes. And his name is Jesus. Yes. I am in pursuit of the one that can satisfy the longing soul. And his name is Jesus. Yes. I am in pursuit of the good shepherd. Right. His name is Jesus. No matter how many times I've messed up. No matter, matter how many times I've come short of his will. Because there are times, even in the church, we fall short of the will of God. We slip up. We make mistakes. But the good shepherd, who is Jesus Christ, is always beckoning us. Is always calling us to come closer. Right. To come nearer yeah. unto him. Because it doesn't matter what we've done. He loves us that much. Yeah. So we ought to be in pursuit of Jesus Christ. I'm in pursuit of him on tonight. I'm in pursuit of the Prince of Peace. And his name is Jesus. No matter what storm is going on in your life. No matter what you're going through, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He will right. give you peace in the midst of the storm. He will give you peace no matter where you find yourself. No matter what chaos is going on in your life, Jesus Christ will give you peace. Yes, he the will. Bible tells us in Isaiah 26 and 3, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, right. whose mind is stayed on thee. So we must keep our minds on Jesus. Yeah. And he promised us that he will give us peace. Yeah. No matter where we find us, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Amen, amen. I'm in pursuit of Jesus Christ on tonight. I'm in pursuit of the one that can fulfill my needs, that can handle any problem that I'm going through. I'm in pursuit of Jesus Christ on tonight. What are you in pursuit of on tonight? Where do you spend your time and your, ener and your energies? What are you focusing on? Is it on Jesus? Or is it on the things of this world that are going to pass away? What are you in pursuit of on tonight? I'm in pursuit of Jesus in 1 Thessalonians uh, 4 and 16, and I'm going to close shortly, it says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. We know that one day, Jesus is coming again. 